Good morning, everybody. You may hear my rooster crow. So he's awake and alert. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to study the Bible or one of my favorite ways to study the Bible. I mean, there's lots of ways to study the Bible. So I like to go chapter by chapter and really get it solid in me. Okay. So we're going to, first of all, I'm going to start by sharing a verse with you so you have a little nugget of a truth you can carry with you today, which is Ezekiel 23, verse 1. The word of the Lord came to me. God cares about us. He cares about our lives. He didn't just leave us destitute. So here we see Ezekiel is receiving a word from the Lord about his time uh, Judah, Israel, and all that. So I haven't gotten all into it. So that's what I'm studying today. But what I do is um, I like to go verse by verse. So I have here the word of the Lord came again unto me saying, God is involved in our lives and cares about us. And then I have here Ezekiel 23, 2, son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother. And I wrote God telling a story, one mother, these two were irrelated. Okay, so I will read through multiple Bibles. Um, just even, it can even be the same version over and over Psalm 23. All day today, I just pick up one Bible, read it. I also read other things you know, in my Bibles, just the way I study, but, you know, it's like I kind of highlight this chapter, so I'll read through that, but, you know, I'm a busy woman, you know, I've got a home and a husband and all that, so, but I am retired, so I have to say that because some of you have children, and so, you know, your schedule and timing may be different, but while I am cleaning and going about my day and uh, even studying the Bible sometimes, I just have it playing in the background, I make playlists. So this is what I put in on YouTube. Genesis chapter 1, Baptist. Now, I wouldn't put Genesis in today. I would put Ezekiel 23 in, and then I'd write Baptist, okay? And I would put in Genesis 1, Calvary Chapel. And I would make a huge playlist all on Ezekiel 23. So I would hear all kinds of different preachers, pastors, people discussing Ezekiel 23 and I feel like you know Calvary Chapel and Baptist I'm not going to go wrong so uh, you know pretty much and then you're going to get your favorites like David Guzik, Skip Heizek, uh, Tri-City I think it's Tri-City something Calvary Chapel I mean and then there's even ones like Love Israel and uh, sometimes if I know that they taught on it, like Hale Lindsay, sometimes he teaches, like he'll teach on the book of John, he's awesome, Chuck Misler, you know, you'll find your favorites and you can put them in too in this big playlist. So I'm reading, so, so I'm reading this through my Bibles. I will do a verse, you know, go as many verses as I can, okay, and I'll just like write what it means to me, you know, so... This way, it's like me and God kind of talking. Plus, I'm getting like a commentary, you know, like commentary meaning, well, I'm listening and I'm reading through my Bibles. So that's what I do. And it really works well for me. So like I said, it's it's just like as I'm cleaning, maybe I throw a load of laundry in. And um, I'll come over to a Bible and I read a portion. I might do one verse. And then I might, you know, as I'm cleaning, I'm listening. All right. So then a little bit later, I might... Um, sit down to take a break so I might read through you know a couple Bibles or one Bible and then I might get up and I might make lunch or I might uh, go outside and uh, run an errand or you know so it's like every time I get a chance to sit down and then at night when I might put on a nice show like I like Corner Gas on um what is that Corner Gas I think it's on Freebie it's a cute little show so like it's like it's just like an old funny show. So I might put that on or like the Beverly Hillbillies or an old movie. And as it's cause it's kind of running in the background, just the way I am. Sometimes I might sit quiet, but a lot of times I, you know, it's 
just the way I'm wired. I might have that playing while I'm reading, you know, and, uh, you know, and so, like, even if your family's sitting there watching something else, you can just be reading and reading and reading, and I don't know, I, I have, um, you know, sometimes people talk about memorizing verses and stuff like that, and I think that's, that's good, it's a good thing to do, you know, any way you get the word in, but, you know, the Bible also says by reason of use, so if you're in the word, out of the word, in the word, out of the word, you just learn it, because you're in it all the time, you know, I don't like to sit on my cell phone all day and all that stuff. I mean, there's a place for all that too, but I like to, you know, carry my word with me, bring my word with me, study my word everywhere I go. I figured if I got my cell phone, I better have my Bible with me. There's lots of mini Bibles and tiny Bibles when you're waiting in a waiting line or, you know, like maybe you're getting a car fixed or like, um, go to the hospital or go to the doctors, read your Bible, just have your Bible with you. And uh, people sit there on their cell phones all day. I just sit on my Bible. I, you know, I, that's what I do. So I hope this was encouraging to you. I hope this gave you some ideas on how to study. And before I kind of close out the video, I do want to show you this Bible. And it was purchased on Amazon. My sister told me she purchased there. It's really inexpensive. And uh, I'll tell you my plan for this Bible. I turn all my Bibles into like a Bible that I'm going to give away to somebody. I don't want to hang on to any Bibles. My light is looking funny here. Um, but so I usually like this one's a soft covered Bible, but hey, who says I can't put a piece of cardboard or something on it and a piece of fabric and make it a hard cover, right? Just hot glue it, glue it with Elmer's glue. <laughs> So it, whatever I feel like doing that day, I like to make each of my Bibles like, you know, like a, it's my treasure, you know. So I will try to, you know, make this cover thicker because it's just a paper cover. All right. Then I always, which I haven't done here, you you can see it in my other videos. I always write a letter to the people that maybe missed the rapture and I tell them how to get saved and I tell them don't take the mark of the beast. And then I'm writing this. This is like where I got my Bible. I wrote this from my mom. My mom's when she was in the nursing home. She passed away on November 21st. Um, she was a Christian. She loved the Lord. You know, I know she's in heaven for sure. So I dance it up there now. So, so this is a traveling Bible and a pra traveling prayer Bible. That's what I decided. I said, you know, I'm going to start calling some of these traveling prayer Bible. So if somebody gets this Bible, you know, I might donate it to the rescue mission or, you know, Salvation Army or wherever I, I can. Um, they can read through it, pray for any requ prayer request. I wrote all prayer requests are in code. So like all their people's names, I have a code name for everybody. So somebody else, I'll pray for those people. I was then working through this Bible. They can pray for those people. You know, it's also a journaling Bible. I mean, it's like my everything Bible. All my Bibles are everything Bibles, just the way that I like to do them. I mean, if you don't have a, a journaling Bible, you can just, like, put pa pages in. You know, just tape them in and color and draw. This here was a freebie from David Jeremiah. He's got, like, this big prophecy chart. You can write to him and get that. Here's David Jeremiah. He's got some awesome books out. He's really, really good. I This book is awesome. If you haven't gotten that book, get that book. So this is the Revelation Prophecy Chart. So I put that in there. So like, if I see something, I might put it in here. I might even tape a, tape a devotional in here. I mean, I could put art in here. I could like, you know, write, do scripture writing. And, you know, all I got to do is take a glue stick, run it down the end, stick it in there. If that doesn't work, use tape. <laughs> and then, so by the time it's done, I mean, it's going to have to be rebound anyway because of the fact. I don't pay for rebinds. I just do it myself. I just, you know. Get a piece of fabric, get a piece of cardboard, you know, because, you know, I go through too many Bibles and I just, like I said, I want to give away all my Bibles. I want to read them, give them away or come to a point in the Bible where it's like, okay, this can, this can move, move forward to somebody else so that, um, you know, after the rapture, it's a silent witness to people that, um, didn't accept Christ, but. Or if somebody finds it before the rapture, they might get saved. Or maybe they'll grow in their faith, right? Or maybe they'll become what I call a tribulation missionary. They'll start making Bibles and doing the same thing as I am and hand them away or take all their Bibles and work on them and figure out if the Lord comes back. And if I don't, you know, hand them up before the rapture, um, someone would come and get them in my house. If you hand them up before the rapture, you might get some people saved or get into Bible you know, study before, but 
I just find this method to be wonderful. It's like a free Bible commentary going all the time. You can hear the word 24-7, and you can hear it like you can go through the entire Bible as a commentary. And also you're reading it, you're doing it verse by verse, so you have that personal relationship as you're going verse by verse, so that the Holy Spirit can speak to you. You're just not reading someone else's commentary. And, hey, you might read a scripture, and, and you might be... Uh, you might read it and you might be, oh, oh, that's that's not what the Bible says. Or you might hear some guy and he's not like quite right on. And you know what they say, eat the fish and spit out the bones, right? So, but this way, by the time you're done studying a chapter, you are solid. You know what it says. And you just like every day, just pick a different one. So I like doing that. I just kind of pray every day, like sweet Holy Spirit, you know, sh you know, help me to rightly divide the word of truth. And I trust him to lead me and show me. And he does. And that doesn't mean this has to be your method forever. But I really like this better than verse mapping and all that. I feel like I get more out of it. But I don't think verse mapping is bad either. I do that sometimes too. I think it's just like, it's like a relationship with the Lord. Sometimes, you know, like in a relationship, you and your husband, maybe you'll go to the Poconos or maybe you stay home and have a cup of coffee. Or it's just like the Lord and I just do different things. You know, as I study, Jesus and I just do different things. And uh, it makes our relationship exciting. You know, it's it's fun. It's it's fun. So, you know, as long as it's worshiping, it's to the Lord. And the more you're in the word, open the word, shut the word, open the word, shut the word, get into it, read this, read this. It's all like Chuck Minzer says. It's all interconnected. So I might be reading in uh, Ezekiel today, but I might read, come across something in Genesis two days from now. It's like, yeah, that kind of goes with that. And it's just, you know, just get that word deep inside you. And then if you aren't doing a YouTube channel, pray about it. Because I think it helps you to teach other people too. And even writing in your Bibles and becoming a tribulation missionary and telling other people about the faith. Anything, you know, some of you may not want to be in front of other people. Maybe YouTube's not your thing. Maybe writing is your thing. So you can read, you know, through the Bible and leave letters in your Bibles for the people that miss the rapture. And if you don't know what that's all about, Check out David Jeremiah. He's got a lot of good things to say about that. And so I would probably think he's probably one of the ones that, you know, pastors out there that knows a ton. And I'm going to show you him again. There's David Jeremiah. And he's got all kinds of books and things. And uh, so I hope you enjoy that. I had one other thing I want to show you guys. Okay, yeah, I knew. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me. All right. You can email me if you want to send me Bibles, which I will read through, study, and give away. You can follow me on Facebook. I try to leave resources up there. Sometimes I find freebies. Sometimes I just recommend a good pastor preaching I saw. You can talk to me and all that. And uh, so I want to show you those. And um, I hope that's a blessing to you and please share this video with a friend with your church share it with your pastor and uh share it with your ladies bible study i hope it's encouraging to them you know please share it with just you know a few you know all your social media links because you never know some might bless somebody else so let's pray real quick i want to pray for you guys today father god in the name of jesus i pray for my friends that are watching this video lord you know exactly everything that's in their life i ask that you would move in their life if they don't know you lord I ask that they would come to know you right now in jesus name you guys can pray this prayer with me if you haven't accepted christ dear father i know i'm a sinner and i need you in my life please forgive me of my sins come into my heart fill me with your holy spirit and help me to continue to serve you in jesus name and Lord, everyone that's listening, if they're sick, if they're going through trials, if they have mental torment, if they have anxiety or anything, Lord, I ask that you would touch them right now. I break every stronghold on them in the name of Jesus. I ask that you would touch them, move in their life, do something miraculous in their life, and just move right now and let them know that, let them see you, Lord, in their life moving and operating and just surround them with a support group 
that can help them to grow in their faith. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm. God bless.